let's start with Kendra Andrews. Kendra, go ahead. Hey, Mike. Uh, into the first preseason game, you were talking about how in the bubble you were kind of thrown in with playing with Jamal and Jokic on the court together. But how did it feel to now having some time to practice with them? How did it feel in that first preseason game? I mean, it felt pretty decent. You know, it's going to get take time for us to all mesh. Obviously, it was just the first preseason game. Um, so it'll take time, still figuring each other out. Um, but it was good. It was good to get out there with those guys. And I think that uh, we're just going to get better and better with each preseason game. And by the time the first regular season game comes, I think we'll be ready to go. Next, we'll go to Mike Singer. Hey, Mike. Um, we talked so much about what you did in the bubble and the strides you made on the defensive end. Uh, from, a, from a maturity standpoint, what did you gain from your experience in the bubble? How, how did that experience help the maturity perspective? Um, I think just, you know, being out there on the floor, whenever you can get that experience, just being on the floor and getting playing time, you're naturally just going to get more comfortable and pick up the NBA game. So I think that's all it was. We'll go to Chris Marlowe next. Hey, Michael. Hey, I'm curious. Um, what was your evaluation of your performance in the first preseason game? And what would you like to do better tomorrow night against the Blazers? Uh, like I said, it was just the first preseason game. We're all just trying to get our feet under us. For me personally, I just missed a lot of a lot of easy shots that I've made a hundred times. So there's nothing to be too concerned about. Um, you know, I missed some easy layups. I missed a backdoor cut that should have been a dunk. I think it was a, he fouled me. I didn't make that, but you know, it showed up as three and twelve on the field. But it was just a lot of easy shots that I just missed that I normally make. So on the offensive end, I'm not concerned at all. On the defensive end. It's just uh, continuing to try to get better and just put the effort forth, and I'll be all right. Yeah. We'll go to Todd Romero next. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, question for you. For a younger player, one of the toughest things when you have the skills and you're going in night, you have you know big 30-point nights, such like that, how do you manage consistency and, and being that? Because that's that next level is being consistent. How do you work on that? It's just um, finding where I'll get my shots. And I think a big thing for me will be getting to the free throw line more. Um, I'm a good free throw shooter. So just getting those consistent points from the free throw line, you know, then making sure that I'm getting a couple easy points around the some easy points around the rim every game. And then that just opens up for those shots. So when I'm hot, that, that uh, you know, I can, I can pile them up quick. But even when I'm not hot, getting those consistent things, you know, getting to the rim every game, making sure I'm getting fouled, making sure I'm getting some points around the basket. That's things I need to do every single game at my size. Next we'll go to Katie Wingy. Mike, I know you want to be the best. You've talked about that. Your confidence is, you know, really high for a young player. Do you feel like you're putting any pressure on yourself to be like that third guy or to be a scoring guy for this Nuggets team? How do you balance that? Yeah, I mean, it does come down. Sometimes you put too much pressure on yourself, especially if you want to be great, be a perfectionist. You judge yourself so harshly. So it is a balance. Um, like, like they were just talking about consistency. Even, even in the bad days, even in the hard days, you gotta continue to find a way to get better and not just shut down and not lose your confidence. Um, so that that's a big thing for me because I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm a young dude. I'm not gonna be great every single night. But um, I try not to put too much pressure on myself because no one's perfect, and I am young. But um, if you want to be the best, you're definitely going to have high expectations of yourself. So um, I would never want to let that go. All right, we have time for one more here. We'll end with Mike Singer. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Mike. Uh, going back to kind of your relationship with Nicola and Jamal, do, do you talk about it off the court? Like, how are you guys, you know, fostering that chemistry off the court? Or, or is it kind of just a natural organic thing that happens on? You know, we just, our whole team as a whole in the locker room, we're always talking to each other, we're always cracking jokes. Um, and we got a really young, good team in that way. We uh, like to spend time together. And um, even when it's not basketball related, we'll talk about stuff. So it's just something that comes natural for us as a team. So it's pretty cool. Michael, that'll do it. We appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate you. Appreciate it, Mike. Have a tough act to follow, man. Huh?